Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. In this one, I am going to be taking yet another extended look at RPCS3, which for anyone who doesn't know is an emulator for the PlayStation 3. Now, the reason I'm making this video, and especially I'm making this video about Persona 5, is because a few days ago I saw a video on the RPCS3 Discord server which was footage of Persona 5 running at 1440p, 60 frames per second, basically locked using a Ryzen 9 3900X. Now if you want to check out that video, I'll also have it linked down in this description. It was released by a guy called 64Fanatic. So if you want to go check out some 3900X performance with Persona 5 on RPCS3, head to that link in the description right now. So 64 Fanatic is running, as I said, using the 3900X listed as completely stock. So I'm guessing he's running it at somewhere between 3.7 and 4.2 to 4.3 gigahertz. It's a pity he didn't list exactly what he was running at because I am actually pretty interested what kind of clock speeds he's getting these speeds shown in his video at. He's also running it on an ASUS X570 eGaming motherboard using 32 gigabytes of DDR4 3600 megahertz RAM all paired with an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti which has 8GB of VRAM. So back to the point of why I wanted to take a look at Persona 5 and make this video in the first place. Upon seeing the 3900X run at a basically locked 60 frames per second, I was like, whoa, either these CPUs are crazy powerful beasts or RPCS3 has gotten a lot better since I last tested. For example, in these backstreet areas, previously on my 8700K paired with 32GB of RAM and a 1080Ti, I was dropping down to around 45 frames per second in this exact area and panning my camera it would drop down even lower to around 40 or 42. Similarly when we come to the subway area I was dropping down to around 50-ish frames per second, it was nowhere close to a locked 60 frames per second and at the time I last tested it I was only running it at 1440p like 64 Fanatic was running in his video. In this one however, I am running using the same 60 frames per second mod using the brand new bust up fix which fixes the portraits when you're upscaling the game or using higher internal resolution whatever you want to call it and I'm also running the game at 4k resolution so 3840 by 2160 and as you can see by my frame counter CPU usage and GPU usage in the top corner this game is basically now locked to 60 frames per second in all of these really demanding areas on this awesome PlayStation emulator. It has been about, I would say, two months, maybe two and a half months since I tested this game or probably any games on RPCS3. Properly tested anyway, I have done some like small testing when they release their announcement videos and stuff like that to see how the games they are showcasing run. So again, you can imagine my shock when I booted up some of these games and saw that for a lot of them, their performance has gotten a hell of a lot better. And in the coming days, I am going to be taking similar extended looks at several other games, for example, Red Dead Redemption, again, some of my other favorite games like the Ratchet & Clank series and some of the MotorStorm games. I especially want to take another look at MotorStorm Apocalypse because the last time I looked at it, it was running at about 5 to 15 frames per second pretty unplayable to be honest and not only is that one of my favorite motor storm games but it's also one of my favorite racing games outright on the playstation 3 so yeah as i said i'm going to be testing a whole host of games in the next few days and as usual if there are any games you would like me to add to this already long list please do let me know down below this video in a comment and as always if i have that game or if i can find it for cheap somewhere and dump it I will test it out for you guys absolutely and no problem at all. On top of all of this, I'm also working on a brand new complete setup guide for RPCS3, so I'm going to be compiling all of the best settings for some of the most popular games on this emulator and releasing that guide as soon as it is ready. Anyway, for the remainder of this video, I'm going to leave you with the rest of my benchmarked areas so you can see just how stable this 60 frames per second now is with Persona 5. Once again guys, thank you very much for checking out this video, I really do appreciate it. Please make sure to leave a like down below if you like the video as it really does help not only with the visibility of this video but also with the visibility of my YouTube channel as a whole. 
Also, remember to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to stay as up to date as possible on all of my video uploads. Again guys, thank you very much for watching, have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Weird. Where's the school? This should be the school. I think. Out of service. Where do we end up? The sign was for the school, right? Right? You saw it too! Jeez, you freaked me out. Who are you? You a student? Man, your costume's impressive. Is that armor real? Come on, don't just stand there, say something. Hey, what's going on? Dude, I don't know. This shit's real. C calm down. It's time out, man. We gotta run. Yeah, we better not mess with him. Go! What's with these guys? What the hell you think you're... Take them away! I am the pillager of twilight. Our sense! What the... I am the rebel soul that resides within you, if you so desire. I shall consider granting you the power to break through this crisis. Hmm. Who the hell are you? Guard! Start by killing that one! You'll learn the true strength of my men! Detest the enemies before you. Change that animosity into power, and unleash it! Persona! There! Swing your blade! This power of mine is yours! Kill them however you want! Run wild to your heart's content! Persona! I leveled up. Okay, it's locked. Damn you! Hey! What was that just now? And your clothes? Whoa! It went back to normal! You bastards! God, this is effing nuts! Anyways, let's scram. You lead the way. Goddamn thieves! After them! Don't let them escape! Whoa! You got one of those things too? 
We will promptly shut them up. Damn shadows. They've taken up intercept positions. It means they're holding nothing back and are serious to kill us. I'll back you up. So fight like your life depends on it. Let's go! Time. Go down! Hm. I knew you were an amateur. This is how you fight! Zoro, show your might! Strike at an enemy's weakness to knock them down. Use that opening to strike again! That's the most basic of basics. Remember it well! Come on, let's hurry and get through this! Zoro! Persona! Through me.